What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the Hideout 202 RD by Keystone. Now this is a great big deal. This is really awesome. So every RV, before I jump ahead of myself actually, I'm here at Budget RV of Texas here in Royce City, Texas, which is still here in North Texas where it's like 150 degrees it feels like, which it's probably closer to like 80 something. But what they're allowing me to do is kind of make videos for their RVs. But if you are interested in buying an RV, I will be the one to sell it to you, which is really awesome. The owner said that's fine. So if you're interested in this RV or any RV on their website, link will be down in the description. Let me know and I'll be happy to be your salesperson here. We'll just have to figure out a good time for us to figure out all the stuff, but we'll jump into that later. But let's jump into this. All right. So there, there's a specific reason why I picked this RV. This is one of my favorite floor plans. It is an entry level RV. This is not top of the line. This isn't gonna compete with a carbon or a fusion for that matter. I mean, it really, you shouldn't be competing with other RVs. You buy what you need and just ignore the rest. I mean, it's just like a car. You shouldn't be buying your car based off of what everybody else is buying. But I love high, uh, the Hideout brand. I love Keystone brand. I'm, I love Keystone products. So let's jump into this one. So you have, and it looks so futuristic. All of them do. Whether you get the front window or no front window, they all look fantastic. I absolutely love this design. I love the black. You've heard me talk about how I think it's really boring that everybody was doing white. Now everybody's kind of switching to darker colors. Plus, I love this panda design. You have the black on the white on the black. You do have a little bit of gray, but it looks, looks fantastic. Love it. Coming on down, you have a location for two batteries, which I like this because they're at, they're, they come in kind of north to south as opposed to east to west, which I like a lot better, which gives you more room for uh, batteries for that matter. And then you got two propane tanks. You got a front tongue jack, which is good for 3,500 pounds. It is lit, of course. Coming on around, you do have manual jack. Get you a drill and the socket that fits that and it will go up and down faster than you can with an electric stabilizer. I promise you that. You have your front pass through, which is actually quite large. Really love that. You have solid step by Lippert, which on an RV at this price range is amazing. Like typically on an RV this size, you're just gonna get those little wonky steps that shake the whole entire thing, not this one. You also get the window in the front door. You have speakers as well, which again, I, I see them going away for the, over the next few years because everybody's got Bluetooth, but hey, you got something for now. And then of course you have an awning and it completely covers up that front door, which is really nice. It's also LED lit, which is a huge plus. You have a 200 watt solar flex solar panel on the roof. And this dealership, I love it because it's super Christian and they don't hide it. You have a leash latch along with a bottle opener, suburban furnace, and then you need to add the inverter, but these are outlets that can be inverted so you can run off of your solar. You also have a coax cable right here. So obviously this area is designed to have a TV. Your tires, Lodestar 205 75R15 or R14 rather coming on down you're gonna have a six gallon hot water tank in here and you got your fresh water connection right here of course you're gonna have LED lights all the way around and this is so this is actually one of the main reasons I love this RV look at this window look at that that window is amazing it's huge and just imagine backing up because you can't always pull up to like a lake or a big mountain range and just having that as your view every single morning i love 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 this you're also pre-wired for a backup camera you have your spare tire right here same brand and everything again you got the panda look you have your coax hook up to the park coming on down so this oh I love this even on something in this price range they have a real cord 
So your cord is a 30 amp supply, but it's all on a reel, so you don't have to worry about carrying an extra cable. Love it. You have your outdoor shower, hot and cold. And then you do have your city water connection right here. And then you've got the other side of your pass through. Now what's even crazier, I forgot to mention this on the other side. This is actually pre-wired and ready to add your side view cameras. On an RV that's 20 feet long. That's amazing. That is an amazing thing. I love that because your car might not be big enough or your SUV or whatever you're pulling this with might not be big enough or you don't want to add the big giant mirrors, but you can buy the kit by Furion that comes with two side mirror uh, cameras and a rear view camera and you're covered all the way around. So convenient, such a perfect add on for something like this. I love it. Let's see if we got any specs here. So these tires are rated at a C. Um, you should never exceed the uh, cargo of 2,670 pounds. This thing can handle 2,670 pounds of cargo. So added weight to this RV as you're pulling it. That's amazing. Let's see here. So it's a 22 model, I believe. Uh, so the unloaded weight as it sits right now is 4,490 pounds. With your added weight of 2,670, you're at 7,200 pounds. Each uh, axle is weighted at 3,500 pounds. Very, very, very nice. All right, guys, let's go inside. All right, so we have two steps. Third step gets you into the RV. Let's do this. And I'll be quiet. We're gonna just take a look real quick. All right, guys. So like I said, this isn't gonna be for everybody, but could you imagine that back window just pulled up, having some coffee in the morning? That's the way I look at it. So let's take a look. All right, so you have, I believe this is a queen size bed. I'll, I'll make sure of that. I'll double check the exact stats. Let's see if there's storage underneath. Yes, unassisted storage. That's a lot, a lot of storage. So you can put a lot of things in there. I really dig that. And then let's see here. It looks like, yep, you have a place to put your dirty clothes, little hamper. And then opening up, you have your area to hang your clothes. And then you do have inverted plugs on both sides. Again, you're gonna have to add the inverter to this RV, but it's not that huge of a deal and it will let you use those. You have windows right here. You also have a single light, reading light right above your head. Coming around, you have a reinforced wall, so you can actually hook up a TV. And then coming back, you have your control panel. You have things like your tank sizes. You have your heater, your water heater, your water pump, your water heater. You have all your lights, which I checked to see if it doesn't have any battery. I don't know why I even checked. Um, you have your awning uh, retraction and extension. And then of course you have your thermostat right here. Coming in right here, you have an actual bathtub. Check that out. And then of course it goes up to a shower as well. You have a vent fan right above it. And then you have a light right there. Coming on down, you have a mirror. There is no medicine cabinet. Acrylic sink with a, uh, I guess that would be like, um, like a brushed nickel or something, I guess that's what that is. And then coming on down, 
a little bit of storage here and then storage stays open over here holy cow hold on can you hear that that my friend is a porcelain toilet inside of an RV at this price point holy cow that's a huge plus that means that if you have any issues a lot of this is going to be residential type equipment I mean obviously the foot pedals different but the lid is going to be the same as your residential toilets you don't see that in RVs that priced at this level that's amazing and then coming on to this wall we have a contour microwave traditional microwave with turntable a non-branded uh, vent fan and then coming down you have a three burner oven by Furion also lit and everything and then of course you have a little bit of an oven again on RVs this size you don't even usually get the oven that's usually something fake that drives people nuts it's like just give me the oven but this one actually has it coming over here now this is crazy you have a Furion sound bar like a lot of these RVs used to come with little Bluetooth speakers hanging and then you would just use that as a sound bar but this one has a legit sound bar all the way across you also have a road vac this thing is actually a lot more equipped than I was anticipating look at that how beautiful is that and then so obvious oh I love this counter is that solid I think that's solid holy crap it's beautiful looking too it looks like it's got cracks in it but that's all faux of course but it looks fantastic I love that countertop I'm excited about this RV and then of course if you only have that bed and you got a friend staying over you have a couch that turns into a bed and then you got a dinette that turns into a bed as well and again could you imagine just sitting down right here and looking at not a highway not i-30 but a beach or a mountain or even a, the sky looks beautiful through the tinted window but it is amazing i love it i love it so much then over here we do have a norcold rv fridge which i know how to open these i promise which in an rv like this this is actually kind of an overkill but if you have a lot of friends staying over then yeah maybe but i think it's funny how big of an r uh, of a fridge you get in this rv and then you do have a pantry right here as well so you actually for what it is this thing is gigantic just huge and then they also put specs oh it feels like the air conditioning is on outside and the full length of this is 25 foot one inch all right guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did please hit the subscribe button bell notification uh and if you are interested in this email me and we can figure it out and again they're gonna let me sell you directly so contact me and we'll figure it out until next time bye